So this video we're looking at atomic line spectra. So spectra is to do with light and atomic lines are to do with uh, energy levels, I guess, or the lines of light produced in the spectrum. So typically, if you had a uh, white light, not blue light, white light, and you shine it through a diffraction grating, you'll get various uh, spectrums, Oop, one in the centre there, with your uh, Roy G. Biv um, appearing in different places, um, with uh, longer wavelengths diffracting more. Um, now, um, turns out, I'm just saying this because this is background how we can use uh, the diffraction grating to separate out the spectrum. If we, um, say if we stick some gas in a tube and we run a really, really, really high voltage supply through it, so high voltage, um, we can excite that gas enough that it'll give off photons of light. And if we stick a diffraction grating there, that light that's coming through will uh, will diffract and we'll get a nice spectrum produced. And this is what we call the atomic, the emission spectrum, or spectra. Spectra is plural of spectrum, I suppose. Um, now, where this comes from, <coughs> thinking in terms of the photoelectric effect, is... Uh, is, is energy levels, electron shells, sort of, and energy levels. If we have our, um, our nucleus of an atom, and we've got electrons orbiting um, at whatever place that they happen to be, um, those electrons hold what we can, we can draw like this to represent the energy levels. So the difference between two points there's a certain amount of energy that you need to give the electron to jump it up there. And remember in the photoelectric effect, a photon can provide that energy, hit an electron, and it absorbs it and makes the electron jump up an energy level. The more energy you give them, the further away they go. Um, so what we want to look at here is um, where uh, the spectrum comes from. And uh, we are jumping ahead a little bit into um, getting into another video, but uh, basically you have a ground level, ground level, which is the lowest state, um, the the um, uh, the natural resting state of the electron, um, and uh, you have higher levels, boom, and each successive level is a bit closer and a bit closer until they all just merge somewhere at infinity um, or, or at one depending on how you look at it or at zero depending on how you look at it um, yeah the number of uh, levels we normally start with n equals one at the ground state and two and three dot 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 up to infinity but uh, all the successive levels the energy they fit into the the lower ones but what happens is um, these these energies correspond to sorry these energy levels correspond to a certain amount of energy of light of a frequency um, that will make it raise up and uh, jump out of there. So uh, different elements will have different electrons and different electron arrangements and different numbers of electrons jumping up different levels to produce different amounts of each light frequency according to the energy level uh, in the spectrum. So you'll have a different number uh, at different places and some will be completely absent. And this, this spectrum, like a prism separating out the colour of white light, um, it's a special unique code linked to that element. Um, and we're going to analyse the hydrogen spectrum in just a little bit more detail another, another time. But that's where they come from. You can also do an absorption spectrum where um, instead of using this uh, emish, emitted light, you instead take that emitted light and you put some gas in between and that'll absorb uh, some of the light. Then you put it through the diffraction grating and then you project it on the screen to produce the emissions. Okay, sorry, brief interruption. So um, the emitted light um, then goes through the gas. Oh no, this this is wrong. This is wrong. It's not the emitted light. This is white light. White light goes through, um, and 
the white light goes through this might be hydrogen gas and the energy levels that it can absorb according to this uh, is taken away from the white light inside the gas and it's used to jump the electrons up and then what's left goes through uh, you can put it on the diffraction grating, put it on the screen and you get this time a spectrum that is the negative of your original um, white uh, of your original emission spectrum so this one you're not emit you're not heating it up and emitting it you're shining white light in so that the spectrum that corresponds with those energy levels will be absorbed and then you have a look at the remaining spectrum so that's absorption and emission spectrum